Hey wrestling fans, this is Dirty D with PWO TV. Welcome uh, and thanks for joining me. Uh, today I just want to kind of rant about uh, WWE uh, WrestleMania's Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, I'm a little uh, ugh, about the whole ladder match at this point. I think some guys are deserving of being in the ladder match. I think others are not deserving of the ladder match. Let me hit you something up with something real quick. It's a WrestleMania theme song you can hear. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to my rant. Um, yeah, Money in the Bank ladder match. Let's talk about it. Uh, Let's talk about uh, uh, the, the uh, competitors in the match. Christian, Dolph Ziggler, uh, Shelton Benjamin, um, uh, Jack Swagger, Matt Hardy, who beat out uh, um, Drew uh, McIntyre, uh, MVP, uh, Kane, and our last entry is Evan Bourne. <clears throat> well, let me just say... Um, some of these guys I am totally down with. You know, Christian, yes, uh, the ex-ECW champion, the longest ECW champion, or actually, the, excuse me, the most defenses, defenses, or he defended his ECW uh, champion more than anybody else in ECW history, longer than Taz, I think, by four weeks. Um, yes, Christian, bam, love it. Um, Dolph Ziggler. I don't know if your push is big enough to be in the ladder, uh, Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, I don't know what you've really accomplished this year. You know, I to me, I think of you as a mid carder. You know, and I think of the Money in the Bank ladder match as upper mid cards. But that's just me. Shelton Benjamin, he performs really well with uh, uh, in the Money in the Bank ladder match. He, he definitely brings it at WrestleMania. He's going to be entertaining. He's not going to win the thing, uh, and that's why he's in there. He's an all right pick. Uh, I, I think uh, there's some other guys that could have been put in his place, but all right, whatever. Jack Swagger, he's been getting a decent push all year long, so I think he's somewhat deserving of being in the Money in the Bank ladder match. He hasn't really won too many championships, uh, um, in my opinion, where uh, they've really – Sent him out to be the next world champion. So I don't think he is going to uh, be winning the Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, Matt Hardy. This one's interesting. Matt Hardy, by all accounts, I think is do something in the WWE. I mean, he has really, you know, kind of been a company man. He's he's he gives a, gives his all. He's always overshadowed by his brother Jeff, in my opinion. This might just be his year, but I doubt it. MVP, we've seen him on the map all year long, all year long. And this might be the guy who takes the Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, MVP has been everywhere. Uh, WWE sends him out uh, to film uh, 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 film releases and red carpet this and blah, blah, blah. You know, he... he He's been getting a decent push. He's definitely an upper mid carder. Um, Kane, a veteran. Veteran. Um, not that Jeff Hardy isn't, but Kane is definitely WWE all the way. He's been there for quite a amount of time. I don't think he's gonna give us a great performance in there. I understand why he's in there. I uh, could they have put somebody different, uh, a younger maybe in the match. Possibly, but I understand why Kane's there. And I, I, I guess. I don't think he is going to be in the match that much, or he's going to be doing some crazy stuff. That's my personal opinion. And then we get down to um, Evan Bourne, our last entry. And this, to me, is surprising, because I don't feel Evan Bourne has really gotten the push um, that is deserving of the Money in the Bank ladder match. You know, I mean, you guys could disagree with me. I just don't think he's gotten that push this year. Fun to watch, exciting. Uh, Ariel, yes, he is going uh, to put on a, a good match. I think he'll bring it WrestleMania, but I don't think he is worthy of being in the uh, Money in the Bank ladder match. In fact, 
I'm kind of pissed off that Kofi Kingston isn't in this match. Um, he, to me, in my opinion, WWE was giving him some pushes and some good pushes, and that just fizzled. It faded. It I, who knows where it went. You know, they were building him up with Randy Orton for a while, and and it, the crowd was really behind him. You know, I, to me, I was ready to embrace him as a, a great baby face against Randy Orton, and it seems to have gone nowhere. And he to as of this point, he is not in the WrestleMania picture. What is up with that? Um, I think of all people that are deserving of a Money in the Bank ladder match uh, spot is Kofi Kingston this year. He has gotten a great push. He's definitely an upper mid Carter. Um, and I think he would put on a great uh, match. Um, I think he, he would come up with some in innovating stuff. Uh, I think he would make it exciting, and I would love to see him kind of win it. Not saying he needs to win the belt, but, you know, it would be interesting. You know, we we gave everything to Sheamus, you know, as soon as Sheamus was in the WWE for, what, six months, if not? And bam, he's the world champion, and here's a guy who's been working pretty hard uh, for the last two or so years, you know. Anyway, that's my beef. I'd love to hear what you uh, you think, who you think will win. My predictions of now, I think it's still up in the air. i got to get closer to the WrestleMania date. But I'll say my top four picks, MVP, Christian, Jack Swagger, and Matt Hardy. Um, if I were really, you want me to really narrow it down to two today, I'm going to say Christian MVP. Um, that's my personal opinion. I'd love to hear your personal opinion. Uh, send me a comment. Send me a message. Uh, let me know. Um, or anything else, WrestleMania. Let's talk. Uh, anyway, um, I'm Dirty D. Oh, before I'm out, uh, subscribe. Go to my channel and subscribe. Love to have you. I, I do this. I talk wrestling. I rant wrestling. Whatever wrestling. Wrestling is awesome, you know. I, I'm neither, I neither have favorites. I'm not a WWE favorite or a TNA favorite. I just like the world of wrestling. So you're not going to find me sitting here picking on guys or telling you who sucks and blah, blah, blah. I'm just giving you opinions of how I see it and how WWE is pushing people, how TNA is pushing people, and how the world of wrestling uh, is is looking upon it, how we as fans look upon things, you know. Anyway, that's it. just getting off on a different subject. Uh, Anyway, I'm Dirty D, PWO TV, and have a great Wednesday. Peace.